Hey, hey, welcome to Live with Lynn. So if you're here, say hi. If you're watching the replay, be sure to type replay so I know you were here. I'm Lynn Huber, and I appreciate you being here today. I am having all kinds of techni technical difficulties, so please forgive me. Um, my normal program that goes live would not would not boot up this morning. It wouldn't go live this morning. And now I'm using a different program, and I hope I'm live. <laughs> I really hope that... Um, I hope that I'm live because I can't see. Oh, there we go. Okay, so anyway, uh, so I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, you know, rough times, right? So hey, so we've all been home for something like, I don't know, a week or so, right? Maybe a little more. I'm not even sure. I'm losing track of time. So mostly though, for me, it's just business as usual. I mean, I already worked from home, so I'm continuing to do whatever I can to continue to work my business, right? But I've been watching you. I've been watching you on Facebook. And some of you have done an amazing job of putting that time to use decluttering your house or cleaning out your garage or your closets. You know, I've seen many of you post pictures on Facebook and you've done an amazing job. So once you get that done, your house, your garage, or your closets, they look amazing, right? But it doesn't take long before you realize that you have clutter creep, especially if your kids are home or you have a full house. Stuff is starting to build up again. So maybe you ended up replacing some of the stuff you got rid of, or maybe some everyone isn't pitching in to help keep the house decluttered. And soon we're going to all be going back to work, and we, we really would like our house to stay that way, right? So I have a few simple quick habits that all family members can do to keep the house decluttered. So the first one, deal with mail immediately. The last thing any of us wants to do after a long day at work is deal with the mail, or even right now deal with the bills, right? But since it has to be done, do it immediately. Throw ads or other junk mail directly into the trash or recycling bin. You know, put your bills and other important papers in the specified place and shred sensitive information that doesn't need to be filed. And to make this even easier, you know, make all your bills, banking, and other statements paperless and get your name on a no junk mail list. Um, before long, there'll be very little mail to deal with at all. So another thing you can do is a nightly pickup routine. I, I'm sure some of us, a lot of us are doing this already, right? But as you gather into the living room in the evenings, each family member brings stuff with them, right? A mug, a glass, a snack plate. I, I don't know, their iPod, their camera, right? A handheld video game or homework or whatever. And have you noticed how frequently that stuff stays in the living room, making it cluttered? So set a new rule each night before heading to bed. Everyone picks up everything they brought into the room that evening and puts it back where it belongs or into the trash if that's where it belongs. Seriously, it takes two minutes to do and it keeps your clutter creep, at least in your living room, to a minimum, right? Another thing you can do, add a coat rack or, and baskets at the door that everyone enters your house. So as soon as your family walks in the door, likely they're taking off their coats, their backpacks, they're setting down their lunch boxes or briefcase or whatever it is, right? All right there in the entryway where, they, where they're going to be tripped over for the rest of the evening. So to keep this area decluttered, put a coat rack and a basket or a cubby for each person in the entryway. Get family members used to hanging up their coats and putting the other stuff that they bring home in a designated place like their out-of-the-door basket, right? It's going to take time and a few general reminders, but everyone will eventually appreciate the new piece that a decluttered house exudes, and they're going to appreciate the fact that you're not yelling at them all the time about it, right? <laughs> So eliminate junk drawers. This sound, may sound like it's totally undoable, it, I mean, but it really isn't. It's just have a place for everything, including the small items that tend to, to end up in a junk drawer. Get small containers, or better yet, upcycle some with the kids and keep these small items separated and organized in drawers. So things like batteries or paper clips or rubber bands or twist ties all have their own place in a drawer or two or wherever you're going to keep them, right? So like for instance, if you, I don't know how many of us read the paper anymore, but if you take the rubber band off the Sunday paper, put it immediately in the correct cubbyhole before sitting down to enjoy the paper. Or, you know, twist tie off of a loaf of bread or whatever. If you're down to the end of the loaf of bread, put that away right away. So. Um, one thing, though, to keep in mind, understand the limitations of your current situation. While you technically, you know, 
if this isn't a decluttering tip, it's one worth hearing. So unless you want to live in a constant state of stress and anxiety, it's important to accept the fact that some things can't be changed. You know, it is what it is. I mean, if you have young kids, there's always going to be toys. If you have school age kids, there's always going to be papers and bags and homework. And these limitations are part of your life. If you're an Avon rep, you're going to have Avon everywhere. <laughs> The story of my life is Avon, yeah. So, but rather than battling them every day, do what you can to minimize the problem, keep it from getting out of hand, and then let it go, right? It Seriously, let it go, because it's not going to do you any good to fret about it. And then once you've got an organization system in place, your clutter problem should be much better, provided you keep using the system that you've created. And it's important to make that decluttering system really easy so that your busy life doesn't get in the way of your efforts and keep your home, you know, your efforts to keep your home clutter free, ah, clutter free <laughs> or your ability to enjoy your life. The more simple it is, the better. Right? So, hey, now I'd love to hear from you. I hope, I don't know if you've been commenting because I don't see any comments and, um, I don't, I don't know. This isn't, I don't know if this is even working, but hey, I'd love to hear from you. What are the ways that you declutter your home? Please share with us in the comments. And if you have already written in the comments, I'll come back and read them. I, nothing is showing up here. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day. Don't kill each other while you're home. <laughs> Be be um be nice and and just appreciate being able to be with everybody. I know things are hard now, but we got it. Oh, Florence is here. Awesome. I got one person that commented. Thank you, Florence. But you guys, I know things are hard right now. So just hang in there. Be nice. Do the best you can to get along. Appreciate the time you have to, to do things that maybe you normally wouldn't have time to do or appreciate the time you have to be able to spend with your family. And um, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.